Welcome to today's reading for the Oxford Dreamline. The Oxford School District reminds you that great books are a passage into our dreams. Now for today's reading. Hi, I'm Sarah Frances Hardy, and I am an author, illustrator of children's books. I live here in Oxford, Mississippi, and I am joined by two friends today. One is my friend Izzy, and the other is my friend Rose. And I'm going to read a book to you today that features these two characters. I'm also reading to you today from my art studio where I write and illustrate my books. So I'm surrounded by art supplies and lots of drawings and things like that and paints. So this is my happy place. Today I'm going to read to you from my first picture book called Puzzled by Pink, written by me, Sarah Frances Hardy. Today is my sister Rose's birthday party. She's really, really into fairies and princesses and everything pink. Wait, Izzy, you have to put on pink fairy wings and a tutu. A tutu? I don't wear tutus, especially pink ones. Uh-oh. Then you can't come to my party. Mom said that it's my birthday party and I get to make the rules. She looks kind of mad, doesn't she? Look at them. They all think they're fairies. But I know fairies aren't real. Those magic wands aren't real either. Hey, no fair, you let Fletcher come. Look at Fletcher. Well, yeah, because he put on a pair of fairy wings. Well, I won't. I'm going to have my own party, which is spooky and kooky and definitely not pink. Come on, Jinx. See your cat. Poor Mrs. Bitters. Did Rose dress you up in a lacy nightgown? Much better. She put on an outfit she likes better. I'll take my monster, too. Ready to go? The attic is my favorite place. I have tea parties up here all the time. These dried up crinkly roses are just what I need to decorate. Do you see that? She's getting roses out of the garbage can. Uh-oh. No, no party would be complete without a spider or two creepy crawling all over the tables and spinning webs in the teacups. Look, it's almost twilight. Grandma says that twilight is the spooky purplish blue part of the day that happens right before the moon comes out. My invisible friend should be here any minute. There she is. V, you made it just in time. You see her, her friend? Why don't you sit in this special place right next to me? Look, V has a special place at the tea party. Isn't this the most wonderful party ever? Everything is just the way I like it. See, the very best things are not pink at all. So everything looks pretty good. Izzy's pretty happy about it, wouldn't you say? Let's see if it stays that way. Uh oh. Hey, Izzy, Mom said for me to bring you some cupcakes. Look at her face. No, thank you. I don't want sparkly cupcakes at my spooky party. Do not give those to my monster. 
Okay, okay. Then I'll give the pretty cupcakes to these cute little buggies. Buggies? Those are creepy crawly spiders who spin magic webs to catch flower fairies. And little girls with sparkly pink cupcakes. Ew, spiders! Can you see her face? She's going, Ew, spiders! See if you can make that face. Yeah, that's pretty good. You should have butterflies. But I guess the spiders would eat them. Uh-oh. Oh, look! Here's an empty seat for me! That chair is not empty. You're sitting on V. Where is she? Did she disappear? Leave and take your pink poofy stuff with you. This party was perfect before you showed up. But it doesn't look perfect at all. Tea parties are supposed to have fresh flowers and cupcakes and friends you can see. This isn't a real party. Well, you're not a real fairy. I most certainly am. You are not. Those magic wands aren't real either. Yes, it is. Let me show you. Uh-oh. Something might be happening to her magic wand. Oh, yeah. Whoa, Rose. You're right. This wand really works. Um, Izzy, I think your kitty is turning into something. Oh, no. Is that a dragon? Do you think it's friendly? Oh no. Let's see if it likes cupcakes. It does. Quick, let's go. <sighs> Whew. Let's go down to my birthday party. Um, Izzy. Uh oh. It looks like we might have a surprise guest. Uh-oh, look who wants to come. What do you think? I kind of think a dragon that likes pink cupcakes. Mm, might be okay, we'll see. Yay! And everybody got to go to the party. Dancing, and there's Fletcher with his fairy wings, and Izzy got to keep on her outfit. The dragon's there. V made it. Looks like a pretty good dance party. And that is the end. Thank you so much for listening to my book, Puzzled by Pink. You've been great listeners, and I hope you all have a wonderful summer filled with lots and lots of great books.